Hi, Amanda here with Crafting with Amanda. And if you're new to my channel, I do scrapbooks and cards and pretty much anything paper craft, including boxes and everything else. So today we're going to do a Fun Fold Friday as a rocker card. And this is the next fold in my book. And these are super easy. I mean, really, you just cut a five and a half inch circle, fold it in half, decorate it as you want. I'll have a few tips along the way as far as you want to kind of keep your um, sample item about three and a half inches tall just so that it sits on the card. So these are all flowers that were made when I did my tutorial on folding flowers or how to shape flowers for realistic um, images. So like I said, this is a five and a half inch circle and I'm just folding it in half and I'm using my um, score tool. It's not a score tool, my bone folder for doing that. And I pulled out of my um, stash, because I'm celebrating my stash, uh, the You Are Enough papers. And these papers are still available on my website, just in case you're interested. They're gorgeous. Just I love the colors in them. So rich and vibrant. And I'm just kind of doing some test fitting. And if you haven't seen my bowl of goodies before, these are kind of the things that I have used to embellish on different projects that I've been doing. And there's the one and twos that are left over that I try to, to use up and um, kind of keep things going. In fact, this weekend I'm going to be making a whole bunch of cards from scraps, or at least that's my plan. So I just put the paper on. It happens that this particular paper was a Picture My Life card, I believe. Um, so it was like four by six. Maybe it was bigger. So maybe it was just another scrap and I don't know what I'm talking about. So this is the Heartfelt Wreath M and Stamp and Thin Cut set. And I need a sympathy card, unfortunately. So I had pulled this stitched bracket out of my bucket and the sympathy wouldn't fit on it but then I realized oh the word sympathy has its own thin cut so I'm going to change gears here and I'm going to show you how I like to cut the base for my thin cuts first and then do my stamping second and I do that with a stamp platform so this is the close to my heart um die cutting embossing machine. And so I'm taking just one thickness of paper right here and I'm going to put it in the middle because I end up using this as a template for um, stamping when I use my platform. So I'm not going to show you me cutting all the different papers, but I just wanted to show you for the one I needed a bigger, um, I guess, border outside of the thin cut so that I can, you'll see here that I put it down in the bottom of my stamp platform and then you can line the stamp up inside of that image. I like to go ahead and adhere down my um, my negative and I forget, you'll see that when, <laughs> when I lined it up I had it all the way down in the corner and so I pulled it all back down to the corner and I'm putting the stamp on it and I'm going to move it so that it's now on the other sheet. But if you see, I ended up moving, scooching my grid paper on the left there to the top, and I forgot to move it back down. So this first stamp, it's low on the die cut. So I will throw that one aside, but I've moved it down now, and I have a couple more pieces, and I just want to make sure that I lined it up correctly and it wasn't um, going to stamp incorrectly again. So here we go, and I just, I love this. If it hadn't stamped well, with it in a stamp platform like this, um, you can just re-ink it and stamp again. So that's just a quick lesson on how to use a stamping platform. I'm going to get this all cleaned up here. And then I store my negative. So this um, piece that I have as a frame, I will go ahead and attach that to the paper that's in the stamp set with um, the die cuts. So now I am, I loved this flower and it's funny as I rotated this flower just to see if it would look differently, um, I was surprised at how where the leaf is really made a difference to my eye for how to place it. So just as something to keep in mind, once you put an embellishment down, if it doesn't quite feel right, go ahead and turn it, rotate it, you know, see if just changing a little bit of an angle makes a difference to you because I'm always... I, I surprise myself when things like that happen. So now I'm just pop dotting the uh, word sympathy on this card. And um, if you make these cards, I highly recommend that you stamp the inside before you decorate the front cover with bulky items. Because when you 
open this up, the flower ends up being behind the inside of the card and that makes it harder to stamp. So I'm switching over here and you can see how I had to stamp it um, kind of holding that front cover open. So I recommend do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> so that's the first one done. Seriously, how simple, easy is that? So now I have these other uh, flowers that I had cut, like I said, for that flower shaping video. And if I remember, I will try and put a link here so that if you want to learn about shaping flowers, uh, that video is right here and easy for you to get to. If you're new to my channel and haven't seen my um, injured finger there with the blue tape on it, um, I did that when I was putting new covers on some folding camp chairs and I got my finger caught right in the hinge at the wrong place. So I'm going ahead and going to do the same thing to cover the front of two more of these circles just because it went so fast and I thought, hey, why not just do a couple more on screen, show you seriously how quick and easy these are. Add your glue, line it up on your paper, um, press it down to kind of spread that glue out a little bit, let it dry. Seriously, just fussy cut the circle out. Or if you want, you can, when you cut the circles for your bases, go ahead and cut five and a half inch circles and then cut those in half. Um, and then you can just put those right on top. Or you could actually cut, let's say, a five and a quarter inch circle and cut it in half. And then you would have a border around your outside edge from your base. So here I'm pulling out some more flowers just to see what might work. I really like that, that one with the green in it. So I'm, I'm, spoiler, I'm going to use that one, but I have all of these choices, which is just kind of fun and yet frustrating all at the same time because <laughs> I want to use them and send them to people to send smiles, but there's just so much going on in, in the world right now. In fact, if my video sounds or my audio sounds strange, it's because I'm sitting in a hotel room six hours north of where we live because our oldest had a... Um, surgery today and so he's back from everything went well he's actually sleeping in the other bed here so um, just life is happening in you know at 55 mile an hour as they say so this is where I'm talking about just rotate those um, circles and I'm looking on the Versa mat to make sure that the height of it does not exceed four and a quarter because I do want this to be able to fit into a standard envelope and this is, I apologize, I don't have the stamp name right in front of me. It was from last year's catalog, but it's still, it's a stamp that's still available. And it's really, I think it's floral borders or something along those lines. And I just thought that um, I would show, this is me stamping the center first. And so I did the sympathy and then I will do the, I think it's with deepest is the next part of this phrase. And keep in mind, I wasn't doing it at the time, but now that I'm looking at it, there are all those flowers that are also around on that stamp set that you can use. So one of my leaves got bent and it was kind of um, floppy. So that's what I'm doing. I, I kind of did some surgery and removed the one leaf and then I glued the leaf on a little tighter to the back of the flower just so that it wasn't um, going to be in danger of getting injured again. Uh, the vacuum just went on in the hall, so if you can hear that, I apologize. And here I'm just pulling out some of the black starbursts and these, I don't know if they're acrylic flowers, but they're the white flowers here. And it's hard to see on the video, but in real life, just having that little um, focal point in the bottom right corner just kind of gives your eye something somewhere else to look. So there are the two cards done. I'm very excited. Like I said, this went really quickly today. Another reminder, if you haven't subscribed, to go ahead and do that so you don't miss any content. I publish on Tuesdays, typically a scrapbook layout or mini album, and Fridays are fun folds, and that could be cards or boxes or treat things. And here's other videos you may be interested in. Blessings.